Charter schools are starting to announce plans to reopen during the pandemic. Today, Nine News reporter Courtney Francisco heard from Mount Auburn Preparatory Academy, Northside Preparatory Academy, and Riverside Academy about parents' options. So far, it looks like most parents are choosing the digital option for their children, but there is a plan in place for those coming back into the building. Here's what we know. You're getting the first look at a Cincinnati classroom during a pandemic inside Mount Auburn Prep Academy. Everyone wants to be safe. We don't want any casualties on our hands. Jamie Brady is the superintendent of this school, Riverside Academy and Northside Prep Academy in Cincinnati. Families have three choices at these charter schools. Traditional, send your child to the school building every day, online classes or blended. Two or three days in the building, the rest online. I have not received any phone calls from any parents. Um, I, re I have received concerns and emails from some staff members. Like the students, the charter company is allowing staff to choose whether they return to the building, and that's different from Cincinnati public schools. Some teachers have pre-existing medical conditions, and they're, you know, they're worried and concerned, and rightfully so. So those teachers or those employees that have medical excuses or pre-existing conditions, we are prepared to have them be more on the virtual platform versus the in-person. Erin Plus is one of the teachers returning to the building. I asked if she feels pressure to go back to work due to the decision to reopen. Yeah, I can understand um, the fear, you know. Um, however, I, I think we've learned along the way how to, um, you know, minimize like class teacher ratios. Um, and distance. The three schools typically serve 300 to 400 students each, but leaders expect many to stay home. That coupled with the size of the buildings will help spread students apart and keep 10 to 15 per classroom. Kids will have lunch in those classrooms. Every child gets a computer. If we were to have an issue where there is an outbreak, um, we easily can shift everyone over to the virtual platform, um, you know, go through the disinfecting and the quarantine. Parents have until July 31st to decide which option is best for their family. You can do that by calling the school, showing up at the building, or going online. Reporting in Mount Auburn, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.